Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm headed back out here on the Emerald Coast. And before we get into it, I'd like to thank all you guys for over 150 subscribers at the time of recording this. That's just incredible. I can't believe it. I really appreciate it. Anyway, let's get into the hunting. Starting off here, we have a couple stubble quail flying overhead. I'm using the 16 gauge Katatori. Took a couple shots, but we got that second one in the end. And he's the first one. Nice little silver. And the second should just be over here as well. Dog's gonna have to find him for me. I can't find him. There he is. Ran straight by him. Nice little bronze. I'm right over here on the right coast. Right at this outpost. There tends to be a lot of quail over here. And right on cue we've got even more. I feel like that first shot, shot should have hit. But the second one definitely got him. And we have even more flying my way. And we'll take that guy down as well. I didn't actually get the time to spot either of those. So first one's just a female. Hopefully the second's level three. Got even more. When you get onto them, it's just so fun. They're just everywhere. Unfortunately, no. It wasn't a level three, just another female. And here's our first male of the day. Just level two though. Another, just a little silver. And another female. Nice little start to the day with a bunch of quail. I really enjoy hunting for stubble quail and I also enjoy hunting for white quail. I find both species really fun to hunt. When you get onto them, they're just everywhere. And we've got a couple kangaroos fleeing here. Level 7 seems to be the best one, so I'll try to get shot at him when he gives me a chance. Don't think that was a very good hit, but hopefully he's going to go down. And he is going down slowly. So I probably hit him with a non-vital hit. And yes, I did hit him in the sacrum and coccyx. Don't actually know what body part that is, but I definitely got him down. I've just hopped on another server and I've decided to look for some crocs. And we've got one somewhere out here. There he is. Just a level six. Gonna give him a shot. That should be a good one. Yep, it's going down pretty quickly. And there he goes, he's down. Just a nice olive skin type, I guess. And just a little silver. And I've got another aggressive one, just a level one female. Jeez, reckon I hit the spine there. Yeah, I did. Spine double lung, it's a pretty good shot. There we go, there's a croc hiding behind that mangrove. There he is, he's alarmed. Let's get a shot into him before he flees. Should be at least one good shot. Maybe two. But he's gonna die pretty quick. And just make sure there's no massive magpie gaze up there. Does not appear to be. No, definitely not. And our croc has started to float, but there's even more over here. That's a level 7, that's not a bad one, I might take him out. Of course he's going to turn right before I want to shoot. There we go, he stood still, got a nice shot into him. And here's our first croc, just a nice silver at 719. I hit him in the thoracic vertebrae, and then got a liver shot after. Not bad. And uh, I was going to say our other crocs were getting to float over, but unfortunately I got disconnected, so I'm going to have to find a new server. Unfortunately, I kept getting disconnected, so I've decided to come onto my single player map. Continue to search for a diamond sandbar. And I think there's a couple just down here. Not diamonds, but sandbar. There's a female, there's a small level 3. Fox. What's the other one? Another small level 3. And another fox. If this guy wants to give me a shot, I'll take him out. Just make sure there's no 
Level 5, just sitting on the other side of the river. Or lake. And he's gonna give me a shot now, so I'll probably take him out. Pretty small, but... Rather kill him. And he is definitely dead. And here he is. A nice silver at 101.3. That first shot didn't hit somehow, but the second one definitely got him. Another lake, another sandbar, another small level 4, unfortunately. And I'm pretty sure I saw a fox over there as well. Well, there's definitely one over there, but just a female that's fleeing, so I'll let her go. Take down... Maybe not. I was going to say take down the sandbar, but he decided to turn right when I was going to shoot. And yeah, there's the foxes. Just a level 5 male, that's the best one out of the group. Take that guy. Chuck out the 243. Oh, I thought he was going to stop for a sec. Hopefully that was a good shot, but he's going down either way. I reckon he would even if it was a non-vital though. So we'll pick up the sandbar and our fox. And just on the way over. Another group of sandbar have pulled up, so I might take two of those out. And there's one up in the tree somewhere. Where is he? I can't see him. I'm just gonna ignore him. There's one. There's two. Perfect. And here's our first sandbar. A nice little lung liver shot. And our fox is just lying over here somewhere. That's the next place we're gonna go to. And yep, there's our fox. We've got some stubble quails somewhere in the trees. But here's the fox. I did actually get a bad shot at him. Hit him in the stomach, but still down. Went down pretty quick. And here's our double sandbar. Here's the first, nice little silver. Nice double lung shot. And the second, dusky gradient fur type. Definitely looks very nice. Just another silver at 106. Oh, we got an access deer. Warning call. Doubt it's going to be anything special. Just kidding. Holy cow. That thing is a giant. Oh no, why did I take that shot? Why did I take that shot? That was so far back. I'm just going to pray he doesn't die. That thing looks like it could be like max score or something ridiculous. He's not dying yet, so hopefully, hopefully we can just follow his track and he didn't die. I don't know why I took that shot, I just panicked. I'm not good at tracking stuff, I've tried to track a water buffalo once and I was tracking him for like two hours and never find him. But like, I just panicked, took the shot, definitely a bad idea. But he doesn't seem to be dying yet, so hopefully we find him along the trail. And we do have a fox somewhere down there. And we've got a hog deer somewhere here. Just level 5 for that fox. Oh, he has died. Are you kidding me? That thing was definitely a diamond. I didn't even have enough time to check the score. It was gigantic, though. Luckily, I already do have an access deer diamond in the lodge. But still, I can't believe I messed that up. There's no chance that was a good shot. But anyway, we got a couple sandbar down here. This one's actually alright. Just get a nice brain shot into him. But we'll go find the Axis. It's going to be a long track. It took him forever to die. But we'll go find him. And there he is. Jeez, that thing is gigantic. I'm going to get a screenshot of that thing. That looks ridiculously big. There's no chance that this doesn't make diamond. That's like... Huge, man. That's ridiculously big. 236. He was 20 points over diamond. Are you kidding me? There's no chance I just messed that up. And that is a terrible shot. I don't know why I took that. At least we get him in the lodge. But Jesus, I messed that up so badly. I just need to learn to take my time and not panic, man. I can't believe I've just done that. That thing looks... Incredible. That looks so much better than my other diamond axis. It is absolutely giant. It horns are like half, sorry, antlers are like half the size of its body. And I really messed him up. I can't believe it. 
But anyway, here's our sandbar bef from before. Do you get a nice neck and skull shot? I'm just so devastated that I messed that guy up. That thing looks incredible and I messed him up. I'm so disappointed. That is a big sandbar. I might take him out. And absolutely pulverized him. Here he is. Another nice dusky gradient. And he is a silver at 117.54. That is a giant sandbar. Don't think he's quite diamond potential, but he's definitely a large one, and I definitely want to take him out. That should be a good shot. Or not. I don't see how that could be a bad shot. He's zeroed out from 125 to 140. I'm zeroed for 150. Aimed at his lung. Somehow didn't get it, but he's definitely going to die. Put two shots into him, so we'll go find him. And here he is. Definitely not a bad one. Would have been a gold at 144. Definitely the biggest sandbar I've seen so far. I don't know how that got so high. Same with that. I'm a little confused by that, but it's not that big a deal. Luckily, it wasn't a diamond. Oh, that is a large Rosa. I don't even know what diamond score is, but I might just put a shot into him. Go for the next shot. Didn't quite get it. But I'm hoping he'll still go down and we'll get to see what he was. And there's his body. Oh! Level 5! I'm pretty sure that's got a really good shot at Diamond. But I have already been trolled by one level 5. I just need to be calm and not mess him up like I did the Axis deer. That thing looks giant. He better make it, man. But we check out the other one. We'll be able to confirm whether that other guy will make it or not. Diamond is 148. He went from 140 to 165. So he's got a pretty good shot. I'm just going to have to take my time and not take a bad shot. I can't mess up two massive things in one day. So I've been following his tracks for a good while. Is that him? There he is. There he is. There he is. He's nervous. If I, I'm not taking a moving shot after that axis, dear man. I just need to wait, be patient, and get a good shot. Question is, where do you go? There he is. You know what? That, that might work. And we dropped him. Perfect. Oh, that was a little bit scary. Had a little bit of a flashback from the axis, dear, but hopefully that guy will make diamond. They're notoriously a massive troll. So, I don't know what to expect, but he has a very good estimate, to say the least. And there he is. That thing looks massive. Hopefully, he does make it. He's a two-time... Oh! 144. He did troll. Are you kidding me? Wow, man. Are you serious? Another troll. Just last week, I shot another level 5, and he also trolled pretty badly. This guy trolled terribly, man. Up to 165. He had a very big shot of making it, but unfortunately, he didn't. So I've decided to jump into the lodge and just chuck down our two trophies from today. Obviously, that giant Axis deer and our troll Rusa. See, look, there's my other diamond Axis. Look how much bigger that one is than the other. That is ridiculous. That's a 219 and that's a 236. Look at the difference. The one we got today is just so much bigger. It's ridiculous. I'm so disappointed that I botched him. But still, he obviously looks really good in the trophy lodge. He actually looks amazing. And I've decided to take down this Ibex just because I have so many of them. And chuck in the Rosa. And wow, that really does look amazing. I really wish that guy could have made it. That just looks so impressive. That guy's just giant. That's going to do it for this one. Thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate all the love recently. Hope to see you in another one again soon. See you next time.